Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bhutsar. Today we'll see top 10 skill interview questions related to Karza topic. Okay, see, I'll discuss one by one. So first question is that what, what is Karza's in skill? So it is nothing but it's a pointer that points to a result sets of a query. Okay, so Karza is a pointer that points to results of a query. Simply what a variable can hold only one value. If you want to store more than one value, we should mix up Say like pointer to the result sets of a query. Okay. Second question is that what types of cursors in PLS scale? Okay. Implicit cursor and explicit cursor. So these are the types. Okay. Implicit cursor and explicit cursor. And next question is that what? So what are cursor attributes? Very, very important question for interview. Okay. That is percentage is found, percentage is not found, percentage is open, percentage is open. Found, not found, is open. Under row one, it can be implicit cursor x scale or explicit cursor attribute. And put x scale is nothing but what x scale percent is one related to implicit cursor. And if you mention explicit like cursor name, percent is an explicit cursor attribute. Okay. So these are the cursor attributes. Define explicit cursor. Step. Okay, see, suppose like I want to define explicit cursor. Okay, how can I define? So declare the cursor, open the cursor, fetch the cursor, and close the cursor. So declaration, declaration of the cursor happens in declaration section so the main things will happen in the execution section first we should declare the cursor the select statement and open the cursor then what happen fetch this cursor and store into respective variables okay process them and close the cursor these are the steps we should follow to define the explicit cursor so declaring opening fetching into some variables and closing them after processing okay next question is that what what are cursor exceptions? Okay, see what happens. So see, there are two exceptions are available. That is invalid cursor and the cursor already open. So these are the exceptions. When we perform any cursor, we'll have cursor exception. That is invalid cursor exception and the cursor already open. This exception we should handle. Okay. Next question is that what? Who will create implicit cursors? Okay, who will create? So generally, so we don't create. Okay, see what I So when you're performing any DMLs or select instance statement, so generally, okay, Snowflake, uh, okay, Oracle will create the implicit cursor and we can able to, it can able to open, store some memory, process it and close the cursor. So generally what we don't create, so generally Oracle create automatically. Okay, so it is, so it's a Oracle's cursor, you can see. Implicit cursor are called as Oracle's cursor. Okay. Next question is that what will create explicit cursor? Okay, see, as a programmer, it's like PLS scale developer will create explicit cursor. Okay, so we should declare open, fetch, and close. So these are the steps. Okay, see, only programmer is okay, PLS scale developer create explicit cursor. Okay. Next question is that what example of explicit cursor? See what happened. So see syntax. Okay, see, so declaring. So this is anonymous block. Okay, we are not giving any. So it's a one time purpose so declaration section execution section so so we are putting the select statement inside a cursor so my cursor name is my cursor so first declare the cursor open the cursor so first so we are having one variable one value by storing to one local variable so declare this variable lm assign and print so dbms is to print the result set okay see declaration of the cursor okay open the cursor fetch the cursor and store this result into some variable print them and close them. This is the syntax of okay, what the point are. So this is anonymous block. So one time purpose, we can able to make this up. In a similar fashion, what next question is that we see, create or replace. So procedure, procedure name, okay, see standard procedure like this. And we defining one cursor. Now see here, what happened? I mentioned two close, okay, what? Closing my cursor, again closing my question, okay. Now question is that what? So it will throw compilation error or it will throw runtime. So compilation, it will work fine. When you're running the what happened, it says like invalid cursor. So we can't able to close two times the cursor. Okay, so this is say runtime error and error is invalid cursor. Okay. In a similar fashion, next question is that what okay. See, so same thing. So two times I'm opening cursor. Now it will work or not. So question is that what it's will throw compilation error or runtime error. Okay, got the point. I don't see. So it's also compilation, it will be fine. Okay, it will throw. Right, so it will be successfully compiled and it will be valid procedure. Now, what happened at the runtime? What it will throw a runtime error because now what happened? So we can't able to okay without closing, we can't able to open one more time the cursor. It will say cursor already open exception. So earlier one is what earlier one is say. So it's a invalid cursor. This one is a okay. One more exception. What is say? Say cursor already open without closing. We can't able to open. Okay. 
Okay, so those who want to upskill from PLS skill to Snowflake or DBT, okay, you can able to reach out to me. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.